China, the home to the second biggest economy in the world, with a GDP of 17.96 trillion US dollars, is actively investing in some of the world's largest mega projects that will surprise you. And yes, this is the race to beat the United States and come at the number one spot. But when you look at some of China's largest mega projects, you will be blown away by their construction, the insides of their infrastructure projects, and most importantly, the speed with which they work to build some of the largest projects with ease. Subscribe to our channel if you want more exciting mega project videos like these, and let's get started. If we're talking about one of the colossal innovations in the 21st century, it has to be the Three Gorges Dam. The concept was first imagined by Sun Yat-sen, China's first president in the previous century, and now the project has come to fruition. The Three Gorges Dam is one of the largest hydroelectric power stations that is so strong and big that it even affected Earth's rotation. This project is not only the world's largest innovation, but also a controversy that still haunts people to this day. Construction began in 1994, which was based on controversy as millions of people were relocated as they were living in the dam's reservoir area. Costing a whopping $31.765 billion, as controversial as it might seem, the project has helped China grow its economy massively. Inside the dam, we see a labyrinth of tunnels, shafts, and control rooms. We have to say that this mega dam has paved the way for China becoming the second largest economy in the world. But wait till you hear how much electricity it generates. The Three Gorges Dam generates 88.2 trillion watt hours of electricity thanks to its 34 generators, each having a capacity of 700 milliwatts. There are huge turbines that work together and generate insane amounts of electricity thanks to the Yangtze River, which holds more water than all of the Great Lakes combined. The electricity this project generates is enough to power more than 5.4 million households for a month, which is crazy to think about, but not as stunning as our next project, which is the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway. Imagine a railway that solves China's biggest problem at one time, transportation between two of its biggest cities, Beijing and Shanghai. This railway covers 1,318 kilometers or 819 miles across eastern China, which goes to show how dominant and next level China is when it comes to its transportation technology. The construction of this insane infrastructure project involved building many bridges, tunnels, and stations. This high-speed railway has been in operation since 2011, but upgrades have been a huge part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway ever since its inception. It might blow your mind, but this high-speed rail is also one of the busiest, since it has already transported 210 million passengers in 2019. But wait till you hear the cost, because that will surprise you. The Beijing-Shanghai High SL took $34.7 billion to construct, which is a massive cost for a high-speed railway. At first, these trains were limited to 300 kilometers an hour, which means they could transport passengers from Beijing to Shanghai in 4 hours and 48 minutes. However, on September 21, 2017, a massive upgrade was made so that the trains could travel up to 350 kilometers an hour, decreasing the transport time to just 4 hours and 18 minutes. Inside the train, you will see spacious and comfortable seating with ample legroom. Then, there are many modern facilities like AC, Wi-Fi, and entertainment systems. But one thing that sets this train apart from many other forms of transportation is inclusivity. For people with disabilities, the Beijing-Shanghai trains have wheelchair ramps, accessible restrooms, and other accessibility features that makes this mega project the modern day marvel. Speaking of modern day marvels, we can't go wrong with the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. What could be so special about a bridge, right? Except it's a 55 kilometer construction behemoth that consists of a series of three cable stayed bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands. 
That's the truth about this bridge. With over $18.8 billion spent in its overall construction, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is special because it is the longest sea crossing and also the longest open sea fixed link in the world. Construction began in 2011 and involved a lot of complex engineering, from making a fixed link to building four artificial islands. The interior of the HZMB is as unique as you think it can be. That's because its unique design protects it from the biggest, baddest typhoons. Then we have the advanced ventilation systems and emergency escape routes. The HZMB also contains state-of-the-art technology like automated toll collection systems and more. We have four artificial islands, Lantau Island, Zhuhai Island, Ling Ding Yang Island, and Hang Quin Island. While all four of these construction marvels deserve a video of their own, to sum it up, all of these islands contain commercial and residential properties, along with many entertainment districts to keep fun and businesses moving. Speaking of business, the Shanghai Tower keeps it up and running by being the third largest building in the world and the largest building in China. If that didn't speak up for its credibility, you will be surprised to know that it features 128 stories with a 632 meter tall design that is located in Luji Azhuai, Pudong, Shanghai. But that's not the only record broken by the Shanghai Tower because there's a lot to cover yet. It is also the building that has the world's fastest elevators going at a speed of 20.5 meters per second. While this record was broken by another project, it still remains firm and strong. Many people confuse the Shanghai Tower as a business use building, but it is of mixed use. The groundbreaking and construction work on the tower began on November 29, 2008, and the exterior was completed in summer 2015. Chinese developers work day and night to make a colossal megastructure like this to stand, and finally, in February 2015, it was opened for actual use. The tower has nine cylindrical buildings that are stacked on top of each other. These make a total of 128 floors that are all covered by a layer of glass facade. Inside the tower, each of the nine indoor areas provide public space for visitors and have their own atriums consisting of gardens, cafes, restaurants, retail spaces, and a lot of other things while providing a stunning view of the business city of China. The glass layers aren't just for show, but they also protect you against heat. Right now, the tower can accommodate a total of 16,000 people daily, which is an achievement in itself. But that's not where the fun ends, because the Shanghai Tower then worked with Jin Mao Tower and SWFC to form the world's first adjacent grouping of three super tall buildings, with its 258 room hotel, museum, and the ability to provide parking space for 1,800 vehicles. With this insane infrastructure comes a price that shocks you. In total, the construction cost a whopping $2.4 billion. That will put you through awe, making your thoughts take a deep flight into the other world. And speaking of flights, the Starfish Airport in China, called the Beijing Doxing International Airport, is one of the largest and most innovative airports since it covers four civilian runways and a military runway as well. This colossal megaproject is located in the south of Beijing, China, and it has already become one of the world's largest transportation hubs in recent times. The state-of-the-art airport is considered the largest single-building airport terminal in the world, surpassing Dubai International Airport's record. The previous airports, such as Beijing Capital International Airport and Beijing Nanwan Airport were nearing capacity, and that's where the need of the Doxing International Airport came. Construction began in 2014 and was ultimately completed in 2019. Not only was this airport innovative in itself, but an artificial island was created just to support this airport. But its beauty is in its construction that was only boosted by its designer, Zaha Hadid, who carved the airport into a starfish design. But aside from looking cool, this design is also quite functional. You see, the starfish design is perfect for maximizing the passenger flow and improving efficiency. Inside the airport, 
you will find a modern and spacious environment. From self-service check-in, kiosks, and biometric scanners to automated baggage handling systems, we see a lot of innovation in the Beijing Doxing Airport. To make it interesting, the airport also features a variety of retail outlets, restaurants, and lounges to cater to the needs of travelers. The cost of its construction is a whopping $11.2 billion, which is worth it since the Beijing airport is bringing business and improving customer experience in the city. Chinese insanely large infrastructure projects are just increasing. We have the Wencheng Commercial Space Launch Site, the new water infrastructure projects, and many others that are making their mark as the economy shapers in China. Which video should we cover next? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to stay up to date with our future videos.